Hey guys, so something a little different, but I think it's going to be fun and I kind of want you guys to do it too and let me know what you get because I'm on Soul Eater and I thought it'd be fun to take some some quizzes. So today I'm going to find out what Soul Eater character I am. So I'm going to take this quiz. You're going to watch it with me. You're going to watch 100% of the video with me. Okay. You're gonna do it and then we'll see who i am i'm hoping to get stein or kid death at least something something in that area i'm not gonna i'm not gonna wing it to try and get them i'm gonna just simply vote for my particular inter interest and how i feel but i'll share the link of this quiz in the description of this video as well as probably put it in a comment and pin it uh but I'd like you guys to take the quiz and then comment who you got because it's fun. It's interesting. Um, and I want to know what you guys have, especially like my soul leader people who engage a lot. Um, I'd be curious because uh, you kind of get to know, learn a bit more about someone based off of that. Anyways, enough chatter. Let's do the quiz. And I think it just, it's, yeah, it's like 20 questions. I've never taken this before. I'm not cheating. And apologies in advance if there's like tons of ads and stuff because this thing is just blowing up. What type of Soul Eater character is your favorite? Mm. Kind of like serious. Because like, I love Levi Ackerman. I love Kishibe from Chainsaw Man. I love Stein and Death the Kid. And like, they're all for the most part pretty serious. And I like serious tones and when anime, like when more shit's on the line. So I'm kind of serious. We'll just ignore the ads together. What makes Soul Eater a unique anime? Uh, I would say the looks. The looks are definitely unique. It has that whole Halloween style to it and the scenery. Um, different art style and I like it a lot. And I think that's probably why it's so good. It's because of the art style. What would it be if you could change one thing about the anime show? That's a good question. I'd make it less gloomy, I'd touch on deeper concepts, I'd kill off goofy characters, <laughs> I'd add more goofy characters, I'd expand on the main characters' backstories, I'd like it more brutal. Mm, okay, I love my brutalness, so... Uh, maybe more brutal? I don't know, some people killed off, but not enough. Would you rather be a demon weapon or a meister? Why? Dude. I don't know the answer. I'd say, well, a Meister in general, that's my answer. But out of the options, I I don't want to be an object. I don't want to, but I also a Meister because I like to be in charge. That's just my personality. I don't try and be dominated, dominating, but I do like to kind of control, be in control of my situation and stuff at least. Um, but for the most part, Ed Meister because I'd love to slay my enemies. There needs to be more death in Soul Eater. So if I have to do it. What do you think of the witches in Soul Eater? Oof. My goodness. I think we all know what I think of the witches in Soul Eater. They need guidance because they're lost. They're not trustworthy and should be in custody. I don't like the witches. I think some witches in Soul Eater are super. <laughs> oh, they know me. I hate all the witches and would love to kill. Damn. I love all the witches and would love to become one. I, I had to. I, I gotta be honest. I'm probably gonna get spirit or something. Ugh. What would you do to a monster after capturing it? Uh, I'd exile it or set it free, imprison it, kill it right away, turn it into my pet, torture it. I'd use it against my enemies. Turn it into my pet. I try that because you can turn it into your pet and then use it against your enemies. That's that's what my logic would be. What would your priority be if you lived in the Soul Eater universe? Become Keisha, baby. Uh, helping others, protecting my loved ones, become a three-star WMA student. Uh, finding my purse, becoming invincible. Shinigami. Yep, I would. I, I'm an, I like I like to I like a challenge. How badly would you want to become a death scythe if you were an actual DWMA student? Yeah, I'd I'd want to become one. What would you 
prioritize if you were a true god okay making the world a better place keeping the peace they're kind of similar answers destroying all the demons and bad guys loosening the rules so everyone can enjoy life it's bad outcomes for that one destroy the whole world to put everyone out of their misery Ugh. creating stricter rules to keep everyone under control hmm. that sounds like some bad historical events um i would say hmm it's generic but that's the main goal in life making the world a better place or keeping the peace i don't know because like not all demons and bad guys are bad guys like there's always a gray area with that but you don't want to loosen roles too much because that'll give actual bad guys advantages to certain situations i'd say making the world a better place because in a real world there's not always peace like you'll never always accomplish peace what's a personality trait that every dwma student should have to succeed why do they have Krona as the image for that? What's a personality trait that every DWMA student should have to succeed? I don't think ignorance, childishness, goofiness, seriousness. I don't think you should have any of those to help you succeed. I'm just doing none of them. Because like, if you weren't any of those, you could still succeed easily. Uh, in your opinion, how likely would you be to experience madness on a scale? Zero to five. That's a good question. Uh, honestly, I'd go three, because I'm pretty I'm pretty good with controlling my anger. But it's like it's like one of those people who's like hardly get mad. They're cool, calm, collected all the time. But when they're mad, everyone knows they're mad, like type of thing. So I feel like that's, that's me. What kind of traditional weapon would you like to turn it into if you possessed the weapon chain? Traditional weapon, let's see, shield helmet. Who would want to be a helmet? Hey man, just wear me on your head and let's go headbutt people to death. Even a shield, because like for the most part, shield's defense. Either a sword or a bow. I'm going with bow. You do cooler stuff with a bow, like Legolas basically. But I'd be the bow, I guess. Shoot my arrows at everyone. How would you feel if you had to kill a Kenshin? Um, I don't know. I feel like you should be hesitant when you have to kill anything. Just to double, double think the process and everything. Or why, why does it need killing? What could make it easier for others to follow your orders? World dominance. Kindness, knowledgeableness, orderliness, when insufficient. I would say knowledgeableness, because once people understand what was the question? To follow your orders. Yeah. Like if if the orders are logical and have reasoning to it, you're better just to like help them understand why because then that just makes it so much easier for them to understand but then also like follow the orders um i don't know but there are a lot, a lot of weak people who follow orders even if they don't even know the meaning of it i mean that's like war in general tons of soldiers follow follow orders even though if they don't want to go to war and kill people but they still do it because there's following orders so um i wouldn't want to roll that way that's stupid i would do knowledgeableness What's the best tactic to win every battle? Negotiation, defense, offense, counterattack, all out attack, stealth attack. What's the best tactic to win every battle? I would do negotiation. That's my thing. What's one trait that you consider a huge turnoff? Ugh, we're getting deep. Rudeness, aloofness, spontaneity, strictness, none of them. Oh, I would say rudeness for sure. I just hate people being turds. Would you like to become a Grim Reaper? Why? No, it sounds like a cruel job. I mean, it sounds like easy. He just, he just chills there at the academy drinking tea all day. Probably drinking other stuff too, but who knows? Yes, it sounds like a helpful occupation. No, it sounds boring. Yes, it sounds adventurous. It's 
No, it sounds depressing. Yes, it sounds like a dream job. Well, a Grim Reaper, I mean, for his circumstance, he has to have that soul shield around the academy. So I would say no, though. I feel like I wouldn't want to be the boss. I like, I, I, I'm okay with being a boss, but not like the guy, because like you just have to make sure everything. Uh, I'd say no, it sounds boring, even though I don't think it is. That's the only best no answer, really. What would it be if you had to describe the Soul Eater Sorcerers in one word? Uh, I'd say cool. They're pretty cool with their abilities and stuff. What is your prominent mood? I'd say calm. I'm pretty calm. Like, most people, like, I'm one of those people, like, I'm never overly excited or overly mad. So like people never know how I'm feeling or anything because I hide all my emotions. Um, but yeah, I'd say I'm pretty calm for the most part. Final question, how old are you? Oh my God, now everyone knows, bam. You know, it does and doesn't make sense. Um, I'm Soul Eater Evans. I guess so. You seem to be a laid-back, easygoing, and fun-loving person. Just like Soul, you might seem careless and aloof, but deep down you are a caring and protective individual who'd never let down your loved ones. God damn. That's spot on. That's pretty accurate. So, they got me. They got me on that one. Um... Makes sense, but the only complaint about this, I wouldn't want to be a weapon. That's it. I mean, I like that he's human form and everything, but I wouldn't want to be a weapon still. Like, who wants to be? I mean, I'm sure some. I'm sure a lot of people want to be weapons, but that's just it's not my thing. Uh, but yeah, I guess I guess I'm fucking Soul Eater Evans. Not complaining. He's a great guy. He's very cool. Uh, and since. I'm him. He's probably the best character, you know? He's probably the best character. Uh, just because I got him. But yeah, this was cool. This was fun. Except for all the ads popping up everywhere. Uh, post in the link in the description. Let me know who you got. Because then I will know a lot about you. Uh, and then I can find your social security and hack everything. Um, yeah, this is cool. Let me know your thoughts on everything. And I hope you're having a good day. Bye.